I wasn't recording. Okay, well, let's do that again. Okay, let's try it again. All right. What's up, y'all? Today, I want to talk to you about these day owl bags, okay? I just want to say you look so good, baby. No. Oh. You go, you go, you go. I wanna make you my baby. No. Oh. It hurts how you treat me like this. It is a cute yet useful, a functional bag. I love the little shape. I love the handles. Cute little straps. I got a luggage strap there, a little number tab to tell you which number yours was. The material has a very natural feel and there's something interesting about this. This was all made from recycled water bottles. It's like a wax canvas, very natural feel here, but it's made out of recycled products, very cool. But like I said, it's very useful. There's a lot of external access. It's right around the perfect size and it's got this very casual, clean kind of look, right? You can be kind of dressed up and wear this. You could also be very casual and wear this. I like this, especially for my ladies out there. What up, girls? But that doesn't mean this is a girl bag, okay? This goes both ways, just like me. Now, I've been using this thing a bunch, okay? Just around the house, sheltering in place. I also had it as one of my bags when we moved our family during quarantine. Yeah, try that sometime. But I've got a lot of feedback on this thing, so let's get into it. First mile, first mile plastic water bottle recycled. Do you know about first mile? They're very concerned with reclaiming plastic, keeping it from going into the oceans, into the rivers, into the landfills, because we can use it to make things. And this material right here is created in part with first mile and it is made out of recycled water bottles, apparently, which is cool because it has a very, very natural kind of feel, waxed canvas kind of feel. You do get a slight little, there's definitely like a coating there. 100% recycled polyester liner. Actually, this liner is quite nice. I like the feel of it. It's smooth, it's not gonna get really ratty over time, right? It feels kind of nice, it has a nice little, like almost matte, velour kind of finish. Leather Working Group certified leathers here on the handles as well as on this little tab over here which tells you what your number is. Free repairs for life. Free repairs for the life of the company. <laughs> That's whenever you see like lifetime warranty, it's like the life of the company. At some point in the future when this company's not here, you won't be able to get it repaired. But these guys talk a big game about free repairs for life which is great because in the large version, again, I'm gonna show you two sizes of this bag, okay? In the large version, inside this big front compartment here, there's a pocket that goes in, and listen. That is the last part of the stitching coming out in there. It was stitched in. So I can apparently send this bag back to them to get that repaired, which would be a bitch. They'd probably just give me a new one probably, I don't know. But free repairs for life, that's kind of great, right? Because this, the whole dream about this thing is let's take care of the goddamn planet. So we've got two sizes here, okay? Here's the big guy and here's the little guy. The little guy can fit up to a 13 inch laptop. My 15 inch MacBook Pro does not fit into this guy, okay? This is perfect for the iPad use. This fits up to a 15 inch laptop and I have seen people on their website talk about fitting their 17 inch into the big boy. So not only is the big boy a little bit taller, it's also a little bit deeper, okay? Little bit deeper here than this smaller guy, all right? You've got little uh, webbing bits to put on some pens if you want. Okay, so because I was using this in sheltered in place, my house situation, I'm constantly moving to like different outdoor like hideout spots or the bathroom or my stand-up desk or someplace in the, the kitchen or the family room even or whatever, right? And so I wanna have everything that I need. I normally when I'm moving around, I'm not taking my laptop. This was awesome to be able to throw my iPad Pro in here with a little book. I've got my smoke pouch, I've got my other things. I'm gonna show you exactly how I've packed this out for my daily life. But the little guy I prefer to the 
big guy personally and carrying around day to day even though I couldn't do this with my laptop. Here's something I learned in the use of this thing. A little bit floppy, a little bit floppy. Specifically, this quick access pocket. I'm gonna walk you through all the external access here. They've got a good amount of them. But I've got some stuff in this quick access pocket right here, okay? Little floppy there. Part of me likes the fact that it's very simple in use this bag. I like it a lot. I like the design. I like this company. There's a lot in the material choice and in the decisions being made that I'm like, oh dude, oh nice. We've got a we've got a player. But I have noticed that little floppiness. Honestly, to me this thing is is like a purse. I I know some of you are going to hear that and go like, oh, I fucking hate purses, dude, but I loved my mom's purse growing up. I love, she had everything in there. She could find everything, I couldn't find anything. There's definitely some like things jumble togetherness in some of these pockets, but because it's made from some natural materials, it's got a great feel. I think it's got a very cute silhouette, the look, the shape, the size, the touch, the feel of, it's not cotton, it's recycled water bottles, right? It's got this very lovely, you know, eco-friendly story made, uh, made, I don't know where it's made, but it's designed in Pittsburgh. It's a little floppy, a little unstructured in use. I'm telling you that because that might bum you out a bunch. To me, it's bummed me out a little bit because I tend to leave like this open so I can reach in and get my pouches. I also tried to tend to leave this open so I could just slide my laptop or my, my iPad in and out of here. And that makes it funky when you're, you know, as a house bag. Again, I'm sheltering in place, so, you know, grain of salt, people. But liner material and external material with the leather working group uh, certified leathers, like the feel of this thing, legit. It's legit. You can make this last and feel really good over time. I mean, I've had this out in bunches of dirt, leaves, grass, all sorts of stuff. It's done great. Okay, five external access pockets. First one's on the side, this water bottle pocket. Actually, neoprene lined on the inside. I can get my Camelback chute in there because my Camelback chute has this big old lip here. It doesn't necessarily love it, but I can do it. You see how it's got that little stress point right there? You feel that a little bit when you're zipping it up and down. One of the things to note about this is that it cuts into the inside of the bag, right? So I have this set up with a boundary supply tech kit and my smoke sack. Check out the video I just posted on tech pouches. That was a fun one, right? The smoke sack, I have a video up for patrons only where I walk people through that, where we talk a little bit about cannabis, which is something that I like, especially in the time of crazy uh, global stressful anxiety. And it's something that we're finding is not what we thought it was. It's not reefer madness, okay? <laughs> It's not something that the Hispanics are bringing into the country and they're just running amok, but it is complex. It is a, uh, it is a psychoactive substance. So I, I don't want to just like put it on the YouTube channel where it's like, you know, every 15 year old kid could find it. So links to that below. Here is how I've used it though. Just like this. Okay. Two pouches, water bottle like that. I've typically left this up like that. So I can just reach in, grab my tech kit, which has everything I need on a daily basis, right in here, all sorts of crap. Watch the tech kit video, that's fun. Okay, so here's the top. This side is the water bottle pocket, right here. On this side is a flat little pocket that you can just maybe fit an iPhone in, like one of the little guys. I don't think you could get the big guy, so this is like just perfect size for an iPhone, you could run a bar, put a bar in there, something flat, something little. Not that easy and great to get in and out of, but for the smaller items like your keys or like a, a like multi-tool or something, could be useful. Here's that quick access on the top of this bag, okay? I love having a quick access on a bag. I don't like it when the, the entry is too small. This is just a little too small, but it's great for if you're just carrying like small little items like this in there. Okay, that's, that's doable. But I found that this little guy has been a little bit cumbersome to get in and out of and that the weight in there collapses because the bag is quite unstructured there. Not a bad thing. I like that. I like the simplicity of this. It's part of what makes it so aesthetically like interesting to me. Then you see this line right here. This is a front panel pocket, which you can see from the top here, little zipper. This one I find the zipper can be sometimes hard to get my hands to, right? 
it's just been a little bit like to find where it is. So I tend to leave this guy open. This is more of that, it's kind of like a purse. I leave this guy open. This is a great daily carry, like daily thing. This is a great, like you throw a snack bar, you throw, you can fit a lot of stuff in here. Look at this, look how big. I got my whole hand in there down quite a ways. This is also the pocket where the stitching came up off the bottom. There's, it's, there's the inside of that pouch is st stitched down, which I like, but it was a little weak in the other one or, or it had started ripping already. And then when I got my hand in there moving it around, it was all, I was like, oh! In here, I've got my masks. This one's from Stephen Ken. It's made of some World War II material. Love that. We're in a world where we're showing off our, our masks. My glasses and the glasses case, that all just kind of gets shoved down into there. And I like that. I like that use. That's a great little pocket because I'm carrying it around like this. This stuff's always paint pointed up. So I've got like this little like opening that I can shove something in if it's like quick and on the go. But if it's my headphones and it's small, if it's like my AirPods or something, it goes into this little guy, a little more, a little harder to, I don't know. You get what I'm saying. And then there's the laptop compartment on the back, okay? Flaps down just a little bit. You can see more of that liner in there. I've got a book in here. I'm reading No Boundaries still by Ken Wilber. Very simple, very simple. Your inner world, your outer world. Let's live in harmony with ourselves. And like I said, I've just been throwing my iPad Pro right in there. I live in this, like live out of that, that thing right now. The liner's great. Um, not suspended up off the bottom of the bag, just a light padding. So you, you know, laptop, you laptop worriers, this is not a very protective bag for you. Here's that larger version of the bag. My 15 inch laptop fits in there with lots of room to spare. I'm thinking definitely a 16 inch will fit in here. Nice and easy. Okay, this different colors, got some different like features. This is kind of nice, right? The like the leather accent here versus the, the gray one. If I was using the, my one of these bags every single day and I was out and about going to cafes, taking my laptop, taking my external hard drive, taking my Roost keyboard stand, taking my Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, check out my work from home page at matterful.co for slash office. Matterful.co slash office. But if I was taking this out of the house more often, I'd be using the bigger one. The truth is I've liked the small one because it's kind of cute, even though it's a little tight. And honestly, it ends up feeling a little tight for me. So my recommendation probably towards the bigger one, you know who you are, towards the smaller one, if you do know how to carry minimally. Other bags to check out, the Bellroy Tokyo Tote Pack. I got a link to that below. The question, day pack, this one linked to below. All of these are in the YouTube description. Check out this one, the Air Work day pack, a little more sleek, a little more, you know, Eddie Murphy, raw, delirious, get a little shiny going on in your life. The Waterfield Bolt backpack, oh, this is a great comparison. The Bolt from Waterfield's a little more, probably a lot more expensive, a little more fancy materials. Chell on, sham on, this is, this is sick, just for a leather bag. Interesting, minimal, cute daily carry in a leather bag. Then the Track Bannock, the Track Bannock bag. This is a sick bag for for like all your your businessy your businessy type people. Okay, it's it's got these cumbersome clips on the front, but other than that, that thing is sick. And by the way, all of these are just coming from my business bags page, which is all coming from Matterful.co, where I keep my list of all my favorite little bags. I do it like this so that you can, you know, oh, what's that? Oh, I can click through, you can get some details on it. Click that guy, get straight in to the, to the review, see some images and stuff. So, you know, my goal is to get you into bags that you're gonna be sticking with for a long period of time so that you don't have to be worrying about if I have the right bag or not, because is there any more emasculating question than that? We've all got jobs to do. Welcome to the apocalypse. You gotta be valuable. You gotta figure out your way to take care of yourself or something. And that means it's gonna be crazy out there for a little while. And there's a lot of uncertainty, right? Why am I talking about a bag in the context of the world going crazy? Well, because the world's gonna keep going on, number one. Number two, humans are always gonna need to carry their shit from some one place to another place. We actually probably will have a lot less commuting, a lot more working from home or something like that, right? And if you're working from home, that means you get to go to the cafe. The cafe of your choice, right? You get to go to the park, bring your book, do your thing. This bag 
is great for that. I like this and I see some values. I see some intention in the company and that's really what I personally like to see. Okay, so my final take on this bag is it's lovely. If it's spoken to you through this video, you know who you are, right? Others of you prefer much more techy, much more businessy, more of a messenger style. All of that's covered at matterful.co. Get on the email list while you're there. Free bags, we're gonna do another giveaway soon. Not sure when. I guess, <laughs> I don't know, when, do you know how crazy my life is right now? It's so crazy. We're moving in the middle of quarantine, right? I'm about to go on a long ass road trip whilst sheltering a place in my car <laughs> with my family, right? Wish me luck. I'll try to take you on the journey. Follow along at Instagram. Love you guys. Hope this answered your questions. Please comment, ask any questions. I'll answer whatever I can. Subscribe, tell your friends makes a big difference. If you see, so, see, if you know somebody that this bag might be great for, share this with them, okay? And as always, be yourself. Everyone else is taken. Thanks y'all. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.